Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Omos and today we'll review the fifth studio album by the American rapper Kanye West. Yeah, um, this is his fifth album, like I said. This is a very kind of polarizing album for some or for most people because this was a really turning point for Kanye. You know, he had his, uh, his first two albums for sure highly acclaimed. His third one was kind of more, you know, uh, catchy, a bit more commercial. Then his fourth album was really poppy, really commercial. And, you know, people thought, oh, you know, he, he's gonna turn into a pop star now. So let's Kanye do that, whatever. People were not buying it anymore. Jesus Christ, <laughs> I'm almost going off like crazy. Um, shut up, mom. Um, so, <laughs> it's not gonna age well, this, this fucking material. Story of my life. Um, yeah, so, uh, then his fifth album came out, people thought, oh, he, he is just gonna make a pop album. But he did kind of the, he kind of did the uh, exact opposite of that. He kind of made, um, what is this? Like a hip hop opera almost, I, I would say. I, I can't really think of a better word right now, so. Phone's going off like crazy, I know. I can only make this 10 minutes long because I went so, you know, I went so so on about the previous album that I've reviewed. So, uh, I only have 40 minutes left, so four albums to do. You know, the math is not that difficult, 10 minutes per video. So, uh, let's, get, uh, let's get to it. We have Dark Fantasy, which is the first track. A uh, really great opening track, a great title to Dark Fantasy. The album could have been titled like that, Dark Fantasy, but it's my beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, which is a bit long, a bit long winded to say at least. My beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, yeah, there you go. Yeah, Twist is in there, but it's dropped from Dark Fantasy for some reason. Um, yeah, the production is great. I believe this is the song that uh, that goes like, "Can we go much higher?" You know, that song that opens up the entire thing. Kaya's verse is great. The production is amazing. Um, yeah, and actually. John Anderson has a writing credit from Yes, I believe. So I'm pretty sure they sampled Yes. I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm kind of confused there. And, and Mike Oldfield. Um, Robert Dix. Ernest Wilson. What? Jeff Basker. He sampled a lot of music on there. Or those people actually wrote it for, for him. I highly doubt that. Then we got Gorgeous, which is featuring Kid Cudi and Raekwon. Um, yeah, yeah, you know, just pre-track. Um, it's six minutes long though. Um, but yeah, Kid Cudi sounds way better on this than uh, one of the later tracks, which is one of my absolute favorite Sky Shoes, which kind of sounds contradicting, but I will get to that in a bit. Um, yeah, just an overall a standard song, a great follow-up to Dark Fantasy, a bit more uh, lo-fi, a bit more intimate than Dark Fantasy, which is a bit more blunt in your face, kind of more in, in, uh, introduction point, more uh, entry level, I would say. Or, you know, more, um, uh, just more of an introduction track, and this track, you know, it's, it's more of like a, a blossom track, and like it blossoms into a really pretty song. Dark Fantasy too, but you know, it's more of a direct opener, whereas Gorge kind of blossom stakes its time instead of like being direct, directly in your face. Now we got Power, which is um, one of Kaya's biggest track, uh, tracks, I would say. Arguably one of the biggest songs of the 2010s. Um, that's choir, of course, that you know, the, the back and vocals are incredible. It's a really incredible song in general. Um, I love this track. Kaya's verse is incredible, the, the backup singers uh, kill it, uh, you know, they kill them, fuck death the world hours, you know, that, that lyric is great. Uh, the music video for this, for this song is awesome. Uh, the King Crimson sample, the King Crimson sample, really incredible stuff, you know, uh, this album is also labeled prog rap, <laughs> and, I, and I think they mainly got that just from power, which is, you know, whoever edited that, you're a fucking retard, but... I mean, um, I wouldn't like. Uh, I wouldn't entirely dismiss the case of it being a proc rap, proc rap album, but it sounds fucking dumb. I mean, come on, uh, but it, it's a great song regardless. Then we got All of the Lights interlude, which is just a pretty piano part, you know, building up to All of the Lights. In the music video, these are just this is just one big track, which uh, I'm you know I, I'm kind of like why is this not why is this not one track? But I guess you know. 
uh, people that just want to skip to all of the lights, they uh, don't have to have that interlude. But if you do like the interlude, then have it. Uh, yeah, just have it your way. Just listen to it. Um, yeah, but then we get all of the lights, of course, which is the, the main song. Uh, the build up is great, uh, really atmospheric, really just uh, grandiose. You know, grandiose is the word I was looking for. Um, yeah, and then, you know, whenever it drops the, the drum beats or whatever percussion is on the song, is really incredible. I really love that. Uh, just an incredible tune. Um, yeah, Kanye's verse again, incredible. Rihanna sounds great on this track. Even Rihanna sounds great on this track. You know, me being not the biggest Rihanna fan, but, but Kanye really gets, you know, um, he gets everything out of this project though, you know, he gets the best out of people on this track, you know, he works with some of the worst people on there, or some of the worst artists, I would say, Rick Rolls, Nicki Minaj, fucking, uh, uh, you know, Rihanna, but Bolivar, but uh, he makes them great, you know, he actually does it, so um, I applaud Kaya for that. I love this track, uh, I, you know, I have no words for this track, Kid Cudi is ver versus dog shit, but it doesn't ruin the track. But it is one of my favorite songs of all time, so do it with you. I only have four minutes left, so I'm gonna speed it up a bit. Monster, incredible tune, featuring Jay-Z, Rick Ross, Nicki Minaj, and Bon Iver. Um, it's just a, a fucking clusterfuck of a song, but this song is fucked up. It's so chaotic, it's so cluster, but it's so much fun. It's, you know, Jay-Z's verse is great, Rick Ross verse is kind of whatever for me. Nicki Minaj verse is incredible on this song. I fucking love Nicki Minaj's verse. She sounds fucking great on this track. And I mean, this is, granted, this is the only song I've ever heard from her that I actually like, so do it with your uh, Bon Iver's kind of whatever on this track, but you know, Bon Iver's always whatever to me, or he's shit. Uh, then we have Devil in a New Dress featuring Rick Ross, you know, now it's just Rick Ross. Pretty, uh, pretty song. Um, you know, I liked it, I thought it was a good track. Uh, oh wait, I'm skipping so apart. Uh, probably my least favorite track on the album, it was good, but um, I skipped over it, uh, you know, in, 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 not intentionally, but just I kind of forgot it, so good track, but if I would have a least favorite, then this would be it. Devil in a New Dress is definitely a step up from that, definitely a great track again featuring Rick Ross. I don't really care for Rick Ross that much to be honest, but he does sound pretty decent on this thing, on, on this song rather. Um, yeah, incre um, incredible, a good song, I liked it. Um, better than So Paul, but not better than the follow up track, which is Runaway. Kinda like All of the Lives to me, just an, a masterpiece of a song featuring Pusha T. Uh, Pusha T sounds great on this track, really gives it that extra notch. Uh, just an incredible tune, a uh, masterpiece song, arguably, yeah, I would say for sure the best song of the 2010s for me at least. It's it's a fucking masterpiece, I love, I love this song. It's uh, it's amazing, I, I can't really explain it, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of like one of those songs, again, like All of the Lights, you just have to listen to it to figure out its uh, sheer brilliance, it really is. Then we get Hell of a Life, which is, uh, well, I don't know, this is not the song, but the, the next song is really funny. Uh, this song is uh, funny, but uh, not as funny as the next song, but Hell of a Life is uh, pretty egotistical, kind of brag, you know, Kanye brags a lot on the song. He, he brags a lot of, he brags a lot on these last couple of tracks, you know, throughout the whole album and arguably his whole career, but a hell of a life uh, too, you know, he's just saying he's having a hell of a life, a hell of a time, a hell of a good time, so there's kind of that. Good track, kind of a feel good track, um, I like it, good song. Then we get Blame Game, which is really uh, fun, I think. Um, yeah, you know, the, the main joke here is that Kaye keeps sampling or keeps saying, the keeps beating the joke in your head that he's saying, uh, Yeezy taught me, Yeezy taught me, which does kind of get repetitive for me, especially, you know, this is an 8 minute track, but it is a funny skit though, and I would recommend it if you love piano, you know, there's a lot of piano on there, great track, and um, um, yeah, the, the Yeezy taught me, it gets funnier, not per se the longer it goes on, but um, they throw some curveballs in there eventually, so it is a fun track regardless. Then we get Lost in the World with featuring Bon Iver, and this is arguably his best track on there. Really uh, incredible stuff by Bon Iver. He actually sounds halfway decent on this track. I can't believe it as well. Um, yeah, just incredible tune. Uh, great atmosphere, 
great uh, autotune vocals, kind of like with Daft Punk, the only kind of autotune vocals I care for. All of this album, I have nothing more to say, the last track is kind of whatever, it's 10 out of 10 for me, and peace, I'm done anyway.